Hi, hello, uh, good day. This is the third lesson in the sequence of videos for the first quarter. And we want to talk about circles and circle equations. Essentially, ito yung mga equations na pag pinlat natin sa, sa grapher, graphing calculator, or graphing software, ibibigyan tayo ng circle. So this will help us describe circles in a mathematical manner. Yung gusto nating matutunan today for this set of, for this particular video is paano natin i-identify yung equation na isang circle kung binigyan lang tayo nung kanyang center at nung kanyang radius. Well, yun naman yung pinaka-importanting uh, properties ng isang circle. Yung center niya sa yung radius niya. Characteristics ng isang circle. And yung kabaliktaran, paano binigyan tayo ng equation Paano natin nahanapin yung radius at yung center ng circle na yun? Kasi if we know the center, pwede natin hanapin yung center sa Cartesian plane. If we know the radius, then we could measure out yung tamang distance. Ikot na natin yung compass natin. So, start as a definition. Ano ba ang circle? Mathematically, we define a circle as a set of points equidistant from a given point. Yung given point, yung usual natin tinatawag na center. So, plot natin yung center sa plane. Ang usual coordinates niya ay hk. Parang specially naka-alot na yung h and k to mean yung center or minsan pag parabola yung vertex. But since circles to center tayo, we use capital letter C to name this point. Para syempre center. Then, ano itsura ng mga points na equidistant sa kanya? So, imagine meron kang compass, iniikot mo around the center and you'll have your circle, you'll be able to generate your, your circle. Then yung set of points na sinasabi natin. And they're equidistant from a given center point. So sabihin natin may tinamaan siyang point dito, I call it point A. May coordinates na x, y, point B. It's just another point in our circle. Alam natin yung center ng circle na to at yung radius niya. So gagamitin natin yung distance formula na natutunan natin last time para mag-come up with an equation that will describe this circle. So yung radius, yan yung distance ng center from one point in our circle. Let's say si point A. It could be some other point A located elsewhere in the circle. Pero dito muna tayo mag-fix it. So, yung radius ay yung distance ni A kay C. Make sense? Kano siya kalayo? Well, kung gagamitin natin yung distance formula, si point A, any point A in the circle will have coordinates x, y. Yung distance ni point x, y, any point x, y in the circle will be given by the distance formula. So, that will be x minus h, where h is yung x coordinate ng center, quantity squared, plus y minus k quantity squared, square root nun. Then square natin both sides. And we'll have the equation quantity x minus h squared plus y minus k quantity squared equals r squared. And yun na yun. That is what we'll call our circle equation in the standard form. Maganda tong equation na to kasi pag nakita tayo na nakasulat ng ganitong equation, alam natin agad na yung center ay yung hk at yung radius ay r. The only other information na nandyan ay x and y, which are variable. So this, again, is the standard form of the circle equation. Ano pong pwede natin gawin? Circle equation. Kung titingnan natin siya, ito yung standard form. Pag in-expand natin yung squares, yung binomial na square, well, we'll have this. x squared minus 2hx plus h squared plus y squared minus 2ky plus k squared equals r squared. So, medyo pumapangit. Gagawin natin ay kukumbayin natin yung mga squares. So, x squared plus y squared muna. Then, yung mga x. Pero isa lang yun. So, x squared plus y squared plus negative 2h times x plus negative 2k times y. Then, we note na yung h squared, yung k squared, at yung r squared. They're all constants. So, pag samasamahin natin sila, lahat sa left side, under inside one grouping symbol, and we'll have this. And then, multiply natin lahat by A para lang ma-generalize. We'll see later kung bakit siya ma-generalize. 
Siyempre, hindi natin siya multiply ng zero. So, it could be any real number, pero wag natin gagamitin yung zero. Kasi otherwise, zero na lahat yun. And we'll have this equation. Ax squared plus Ay squared plus negative 2hAx plus negative 2kAy plus A times H squared plus K squared minus R squared. Hala, ang gulo-gulo na. Pero ang gusto nating inote ay itong minus 2hA, constant lang din yan. Itong minus 2kA, that's also another constant. And finally, itong A times this quantity, constant lang din siya. So we don't need to see it like that. Dahil constant sila, pwede natin silang palitan ng isang letter na lang. So we'll have AX squared plus AY squared plus BX plus EY plus F na si A, si D, si E, at si F, lahat sila constants or real numbers. Pero again, hindi, hindi pwedeng zero si A. So it's possible na makakita tayo ng ganitong equation and hindi man natin makita agad kung ano yung center at radius, yung ganitong form, it will also most likely describe another circle. And we call this the general equation of our circle. Now you may ask, bakit nawala yung B? Bakit hindi AX squared plus BY squared? Well, kasi kailangan parehong coefficient C x squared at y squared para pag dinivide natin sila ng coefficient na yun, x squared plus y squared na lang siya. O bakit hindi ito b? Or bakit hindi siya c? Bakit tayo tumalon from a to d agad? Well, as you observe, general equation siya. Marami pang ibang equations na possibly ganito yung form. Pwedeng hindi pareho yung coefficient na x squared to y squared. So doon naka-reserve yung b, a x squared plus b y squared. Asan yung c? Well, in some applications, merong term sa gitna na CXY. Hindi natin sinasama yun kasi hindi siya scope ng high school level ng discussion natin. But a more general form of this equation will be AX squared plus BY squared plus CXY plus DX plus EY plus F. So tinanggal natin yung CXY tapos ginawa natin equal yung A sa B. Kinit na lang natin yung DEF dito. It doesn't tell us anything about the circle. Pero yun nga, yung form na yan, it's part of a whole family of equations that we'll encounter eventually. So now we have two. Two forms ng circle equation. We have the standard form, or the or it's also called the center radius form. Kasi nakikita na natin agad yung center at yung radius. And the general form, na walang tinutulong sa atin, walang binibigay sa ating information. Kailangan pa natin pigayin mamaya. At tipigay na natin yan. To convert a standard to the general, siyempre expand lang natin yung equation. Ang challenge is yung pabaliktad. General form to the standard form. So ano nga gawin natin? Well, una ayaw natin yung ax squared. So divide na yung a. So divide natin lahat by a. Yan na naman. Kaka-multiply natin kanina. Di-divide natin ngayon. But keep in mind na ganito kasi pwede tayong bigyan ng ganitong form. Hindi naman tayo yung nag-multiply. Ibang tao. So, gusto natin siyang ibalik sa standard, we divide natin by A lahat. Then, igugroup natin lahat ng like terms. Although, hindi talaga sila like terms. Lahat ng X. X squared na term, saka yung X na term. So, X squared plus B over AX. Parenthesis. Plus, Y squared plus E over AY. Parenthesis. Yung constant, iba to na natin sa right side by subtracting both sides by negative F over A. So, unti-unti nating hinuhuli yung standard na form. And then we complete the square. You should be familiar with this, I don't know, from grade 7. So, yung coefficient nung, nung x term, we divide it by 2 and we square it. We divide e over a by 2 and we square it. Pero, ang ginawa natin ay sa left side, nag-add tayo ng d squared over 4a squared saka e squared over 4a squared. So, to keep the equation balanced, we have to add D, over, D squared over 4A squared saka E squared over 4A squared sa right side. Siyempre, combine na natin under the same denominator. This can be factored like so. X minus quantity negative D over 2A quantity squared. And so, for here, ko na mabasahin. <coughs> and, ano to? Di ba constant to? At itong constant na to ay magkakorespond na dun sa H. Itong constant ito mag-correspond sa k. And this whole thing will correspond to r squared. So we have a formula for h, for k, and for r squared. 
naisulat na natin siya sa standard form. So, kailangan lang natin yung tool ng completing the square para ma-convert yung general form to standard form. Yan, that's it. And to recap, nakakuha tayo ng equation ng circle by using its definition, which is a set of points equidistant from a given point. Tapos ginamit natin yung distance formula para ma-extract yung equation na yun. Yung standard form, pwede natin siya i-convert to the general form by expansion. Yung general form, medyo pangit sa tignan. It doesn't give us anything. Puro siya numbers. Uh, it doesn't really suit our needs now. Pero yung general form na important siya kasi nagbibigay siya ng hints on a relationship with other figures with similar equations. Maybe you'll talk about it in two years. Yung general form naman, matatransform natin siya back into the useful standard form using completing the square. And in doing so, we'll be able to extract yung properties, meaning the center and the radius. So looking forward, yung next natin gagawin, titingin na tayo na example. Magsusolve na tayo. So that's it. Thank you and see you later.